Citrus Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. a tight end carry. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing his hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown, 63 yards. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From just shy of midfield, Cousins. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guy's playing it. Are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? Throwing his cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight. 
forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Cousins again. Eluding the pressure right. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. On third down, Cousins flushed out right. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Down inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they get receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. They'll run with Cook, and he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. They try again with Cook, and he is unable to get in. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here is Cook on third and goal. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. Cousins to throw for it on four. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They wanted to throw for it. A surprise does not work on fourth and goal from the one. And his Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. When you're backed up this deep, sometimes defense is sacrifice coverage for pass rush because they know you can only go so far on your pass drop. You've got the back of the end zone. So they came after him. He took the shot downfield. He didn't connect, but boy, that was force against force. He's up to the 20. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Cousins to throw it. And complete right side to Cook. 
So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Cousins from the gun on third. This one brought in by Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Now Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Cook. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Cousins on fourth down, buying time to his left. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. K.J. Osborne from three yards out. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And got his man complete. Touchdown. Miles Sanders, 65 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. 
Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. And this is Cook with a grab. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To throw is Cousins. Flush to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with 20 seconds to go here in half number one. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Fourth down, Cousins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Back to throw. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Meanwhile, Cousins throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. now Cousins this one into the hands of Thielen 
And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Cousins now to throw on first down. That is caught by Thielen. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 36 yards on the play. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused, because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Again, it's Cook, and he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook punching it in from a yard away, and the Vikings are an extra point away from taking the lead. Cousins will try and throw, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And now look at him go. The 30, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Back to throw here. He's going deep for Brown. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So, my goodness, I wouldn't have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field, where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. On second and nine, Cousins being chased out left. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Cousins gives way to Cook. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Here's Cousins rolling to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Throwing, Cousins, dancing to his left. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down and close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And, oh, that is going to be a safety. 
We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Cousins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Cousins now. That's to his running back, complete. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Again, it's Cousins. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a diving effort, but only right at the line of scrimmage. A big play there for Minnesota. 46 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Cook running right. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. K.J. Osborne with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Joseph connects on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Joseph now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Another run here with Sanders. There he goes, left side. 20, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's caught at the five, but he will not get in. The defense stands tall, and they will hold on to their one-point lead. So here we go, still down one score, and here comes the onside kick. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. On second down, it's Cook again. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now Cousins. Completes it to the fullback, Ham. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But well, bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The last run got six, now second and four. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep down. That will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll look to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 42. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll look to throw. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 26. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way. You and this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. But as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Fair catch called for and taken just inside the 10-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing was the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. Throw left side on target to Thielen. 
And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done.